Good evening, everybody. Kirksville hosted several local schools in track, including La Plata and Green City. In the running events, Kirksville dominated the boys and girls 4x8 relays this afternoon as the Tiger boys looked impressive. Ditto the girls as they won by a wide margin. Brookfield finished second while Brashear was third. There was also some great action in the field events. Hopefully we will have some final numbers for you tonight on the late sports. In high school baseball, Milan has played two games this year. The Wildcats have won both of them in different ways. One was a great pitching performance. The other was with the bats with a fast start. They want to keep on the field and keep playing. Getting those games in early, I think, is is good because you get some in-game experience for your kids. Also, from a, a coach's standpoint, you've got time to fiddle with your lineup a little bit. You may know who's going to be in the lineup. You're not sure where you like them. The Truman State softball team will be home tomorrow at 1. It's a doubleheader against Fort Hayes State. The Bulldogs are up to a fast start because of their ability to manufacture runs. It all starts with a speedy and talented Danielle Llewellyn. Yeah, she's done a great job. She's really, really owned uh, batting from the left side and fine-tuning her, her skill there with her bat control. And uh, we always knew that it was there. And so she's really, really starting to kind of get into that skill set. 